What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of a leopard. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines in the center of our page. We're gonna start at the very top in the center. We're gonna sketch a line coming down the middle. We're just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now in the center, let's draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now I'm gonna use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from this point, let's step up towards the top. It's gonna to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take this same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna repeat that same process across this horizontal line. So taking the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Now we're gonna loosely create our circle by connecting the center point of each mark. So let's start with the top left and the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna get the right size and placement in the center of our page. We can always go back and just smooth this out. Now you're only using this as a guide, so we're gonna eventually race this out. Now from here, we start building out the profile edge of the head. Let's start from the left side of our circle, draw a straight angle line, going up and then out to right about there. Let's slope the front of the head, going up and then in. Now you can draw a straight line coming all the way across, just clipping off the top of our circle towards the back. Let's slope the front of the head, going up and in, and then pull that in towards the top of our circle. Let's go back to the corner of the mouth. It's gonna slope this down, angle this forward towards the lower jaw, and then draw a short line going out. Now we're gonna work our way around the chin. Let's angle this down and then in, and then angle this up towards the bottom of our circle. Now we're gonna to go to the back of our circle, slope the head, coming down and then out. Let's extend this line going out across the top of the ear to right about there. Angle this down and in towards the side of our circle. Let's go back up underneath the jaw, underneath our circle, we're gonna step down, curve the neck, going in and then down towards that center line. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top and add some perspective across the front edge of the head. Let's start from this point. We're just gonna slope this down and out. Go up to the top and draw that same length line. Close off the end with the same angle we have across the front. Now let's go up to the top corner, angle this down and then out on top of the head. Now I wanna trace the back side of the mouth following these three lines. So we'll come down and in, come down across the back, I'm just gonna tuck this in underneath the jaw. Now that we have a rough geometric shape of the head, I'm gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. So let's take out that circle. Now use a rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail. From this point, let's extend this in towards the eye. Let's flatten this off with a straight line. And I'm gonna pull this back towards the center point. Coming down across the top and then up across the bottom. From the front edge of the snout, let's curve this up towards the top and then come down towards the corner of the mouth. Let's add in the nose. Start from the top, step down, angle this down and out. Now it's going to pull this down and then in towards the center point. Just shift it over towards the left. From that bottom point, angle this down towards the mouth. Now you want to get rid of those hard lines and start rounding these out. So let's round up the top of the brow. Going across, just adding a little bit of shape to the head, coming down towards the ear. Let's round up the tip of the ear. Just adding a little bit more shape to the outside, coming down and in towards the head. Now I just want to add a curve, just form that circle that we have underneath, coming in towards the jaw. I'm going to add some more shape to the nose, just rounding out the top. I'm just pulling that down towards the bottom. And around the top corners of the nose, and just pull that down on top. I'm just gonna add a few folds across the top, going in towards the eye. And I wanna add some shape to the front edge of the mouth. I'm gonna round up those points. And 
I'm also going to round out the chin. And then blend that in towards the bottom of our circle. And then go back and just add some more shape to the eyes. I'm just going to loosely block in the teeth across the front and back. And a few points across the front. That lower fangs. And let's go back and clean up our drawing one more time before we get into the details. And I'm just going to work around a rough sketch, adding some more detail and refine the shape. So I'd like to start with the eyes first. So just going to darken up the outside edge. Let's pull that up. And the pupil and iris. And then just working our way across the top of the nose. Gonna add a little bit of fur texture across the bottom of the chin, just pulling this up and in, and we'll just blend that up towards the neck. Now that we've finished tracing out the main contours, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some various tones and shading. Let's start by darkening out the top edge of the mouth. I'm just going to work our way around the teeth. Darkening up the lips, going around the mouth. Also the inside of the gums. It's going to add that dark mark across the side of the mouth and then a spot on the side. I'm just going to blend this into the spots across the side of the muzzle. And just roughing those spots across the side of the head. And just working our way down towards the jaw.
go back and start adding that detail inside the ear. So I'm just gonna add some fur coming in across the top. And pull some fur across the bottom, going up. And then we're just gonna layer this texture inside. I'm just gonna darken up the inside of the ear and then blend that out towards the fur. And now I'm just going to layer our shading on top of the character, starting underneath the neck. So the head's going to cast a shadow underneath, and you just want to fade that out. Let's add that medium tone across the outside of the muzzle, and then blend that in. And once we're done with the basic shading and tones, I'm going to go in and start adding some fine details with the fur. Starting around the eyes, I'm just going to pull this up and then across. And we're sort of working inside some of the shadows. So enhancing those shadows with the fur texture. Also going across some of the spots. Go back and just enhance some of the spots.
Now, as we get near the end, I'll continue to add some more fur textures and add some more detail like the whiskers. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of the leopard. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.